Okay, we've made it to two o'clock on a Sunday. So we're coming back into the Hollywood hair series. And today we are going to be doing a wet set based on June Allison's style. Uh, my doll head's hair is significantly longer, but I think it will translate well. I'll just read the text which is the youthful contours of June Allison's round face are accentuated by her short page boy bob. The wave lift above the forehead gives her face added height. Her hair is curly, fine textured, and of medium thickness. How June's hair is cut. The hair is parted on the left and blunt cut. The top lock in front is about nine inches long. The sides about four inches. In back, the hair is about three inches long at the neckline. Now that's where the, the doll head that I have, which I'll show in a minute. Um, her hair is significantly longer um, and a little bit layered, but I think this will still translate well for what we want out of this style. How June's hair is set. The lift above the forehead is created by setting the top front hair in two large stand-up curls that are rolled under. So right there, rolled under. The rest of the hair is set in two rows of large pin curls around the sides, around the sides, and the back. Right there. When combed, the pin curls turn under to form the page boy bob. Now, the one thing that I'm going to do as a modification is instead of doing all pin curls, I'm going to do a little bit of a cheater, and in the same manner that last. Uh, time with um, the Jean Tierney style, I opted to use um, the curling iron to create barrel curls rather than um, pin curls. We're going to use, um, I've opted to do a wet set with rollers, and I'm going to use rollers through the whole thing instead of pin curls, but I'm going to show you how that's going to work out. Um, and Scooch down here, eyeball into the doll head. She's my cute little one. So we're going to be using the smallest rollers for most of the hair, but I will probably use what would be a medium size on the average person for the top two curls. And she's already been prepped uh, after wash. I went ahead and put some of the Miracle Creator in for conditioning. And so further conditioning, I'm using the Brass Off Blonde Threesome because she is blonde and needs the extra help. And then for control, I'm using the Super Fixer Gel. And each of those I know is backwards. I can, if I remember, I will put a... Uh, comment after this to remind what I used to start with. Now because these sets parted on the left, I have opted to part on the left, but I've opted to make a zigzag parting so it's not a clean straight line. I kind of want it to have a little bit more blend to it. And we're going to start with those two curls on the top, which come Oh, there's my hand, come from the left and are rolled under. So I'm going to be doing a zigzag parting. So if this were on a normal sized head, you might want to use um, the largest or second largest roller to create this curl. And I'm going to just do it slightly, slightly off base but not by much. I'm going to add this little piece in here. Um, so once more, I'm using a medium sized roller, but on a regular person, you might use uh, the largest or second largest size to create this curl on the top. And it's slightly, you can see there's a little stretch here. It's slightly off base, but not by much. And then we just clip um, I feel like I'm getting away with something by using a doll head who has uh, less surface area, but this can be translated into regular people sizes. 
and we're going to stick with the same size as it did say that we're going to be doing um, making the uh, kind of the, the sweep curl in the front and then we'll just go ahead I know you couldn't see the beginning of the curl I will show more as I scoot down the head with the what would be the pin curls but instead of pin curls as I've said, I'm opting to use rollers to create that. And then this one is a little more on base than this guy, but I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. So we're going to come around and come to the left side and see if I can't create which way to these. Since it's being a, it's going to be a page boy, everything's going to actually be curled forward. So. What I'm opting to do is instead of rolling down, is to come out and then roll forward to create the page boy shape. I'm gonna see if I can move the camera a little bit to show how I begin wrapping. So, oh boy. Okay, let's see if I can move it a little more. That's about as far as it's gonna go. So what I do is I smooth the hair over the roller, and if you have enough um, fixative, whether it's a gel or a mousse or a styling spray, uh, setting spray, you should be able to get it to adhere to the roller and stay smooth. So let me scooch again. There's gonna be a lot of camera scooching i think just to show because this lovely lady has especially for her size exceptionally long hair and then this is basically mimicking the second row of pin curls but as we said uh, it's going to be another roller rolled forward towards the face I'm going to try and show the whole process one more time. Roller in. And I know we're getting to the, the nitty gritty of it. There we go. Smoothing the hair onto the roller to ensure that we don't have any what are labeled fish hooks or bends in the ends of the hair. Part of the most important piece of any uh, roller. There you go. Uh, roller curl is that you do have smooth ends. And then we're just gonna clip. And this makes, if you were doing this on a regular sized head, I'm gonna just scooch um, one of my other doll heads over here for a second just to show you the difference in um, roller size on a normal head. So here is a regular size head as compared to her little tiny face. And what I would do here would be roller here, roller here, and then potentially a fill in roller rolled down along with the two large rollers on the top. So you'd still have two rows. You might use a, um, also a larger diameter for a larger head, um, but that way you can kind of just see what we're working with uh, comparatively. This is definitely, uh, I want to make things as easy as possible, so kind of calling it a cheater style. Um, and now we have what's left after these two big rollers. And we're gonna do the same idea, which is to roll forward. And I'm doing, still doing a little bit of a zigzag parting from, uh, excuse me, in between the rollers. Let's see if I can show the whole process here. I'm gonna move my thing, Let's see if I can, that's about as far as it's gonna go. So I apologize for obscuring point of view. Let's see if we can 
show as much of that as possible. So yes, yeah, so you want to make sure your ends are smooth. Um, pretty much in, in all applications, because that really keeps a nice, cohesive look to the style, if everything is as smooth as possible. Uh, it certainly makes the comb out process simpler as well to have smooth ends so you don't have to worry about things ending up crimping on each other or tangling on each other. Yep, I'm going to just shift how I parted this side because it doesn't quite match the other side and I want to be as close to equal as possible just for distribution purposes and also for the sake of creating what will eventually be the page boy comb out. So I'm going to try again with showing you the whole process. Look, there's my, there's my belly, among other parts. So, turn around, making sure we're smooth. And I'm going to, once I, well, if I usually put my fingers inside the roller as I'm rolling, well, really towards the head, because it just helps me hold it without getting caught up in the in the hair or anything of that nature. So this is a fairly simple answer to two rows of pin curls going forward towards the face. Now we've just done it with two rollers. Like I said, if I was doing a normal sized head, it might be two rollers down here plus uh, a fill-in roller somewhere in this area just to complete the the styling to complete the whole area so you don't have too much of a drag uh, from the top of the head down to the bottom. Now coming in to the back we are going to continue. I'm going to see if I can move this a little bit better um, where we can kind of see. We're going to just continue doing uh, instead of doing two rows of Pin curls. We're going to do two rows rolled under uh, with the rollers, which makes this uh, once more a very um, simple style to complete. So we're just going to kind of loosely create the first row. I don't have it terribly perfectly parted. Uh, I have a feeling I will be able to get the first row here at the nape in with two rollers because of the size of her head. Uh, and really, most people, you could probably do two rollers at the nape. You just also wouldn't... What got on my daughter? I'm still trying to figure it out. I've got some... I don't know if you can even see it in here, but... There are some weird brown speckles in my doll's hair, and I don't know where they came from. It looks like somebody dripped something on her hair somehow, and I'm not sure what it is. Like, it's just kind of like if it got color or what. Sorry, that was a total aside. I didn't realize she'd gotten quite so, so messy. So we're going to try to show... Uh, because we want the page boy, it will be curled under. I'm just going to see if I can't stick everything. Oh, I've got some runaway hairs, so I don't know if you saw that. But a lot of times I'll kind of keep running my fingers over these end pieces so they will stay smooth and tucked in and everything. Just throw a pin in here, throw a pin in here, and that is ready on that side. Now I come around to the other side. There we go. Same idea. Kind of pulling, pulling down. Yeah, I'm really mystified. I've got these little little specklies. Little brown specklies on my doll's hair, and I don't know where they came from. All 
Alrighty. So we'll see if I can kind of... So basically you want to hold the roller. Let's see if I can turn it a little bit. Hold the roller in such a fashion as to mimic the angle of the base. So that it can kind of lay in relatively um, smooth and tight without stretching or see I've got a few little hairs that keep trying to pop up so I'm put my fingers inside and roll up and since this is a wet set normally if you were to do this for yourself or someone else you would tuck them in the dryer in this case she will just literally sit for a week with her hair I'm just gonna stick another pin in that one drive me insane this happens occasionally where there now it won't go anywhere okay so here we come into the very last row of curls uh, this is gonna be a little tricky I think for the sake of encouraging it to dry a little bit better, I am going to use one size up from the blue roller for this last one, and I'm going to uh, part a little bit once more during the zigzag, and I'm going to uh, actually have a middle, um, like a, a middle roller, a small roller, just to make sure that we don't have a split. So we said we're going to go up one size, which is, where the heck, there it is, uh, the orange rollers in my case. And let's see if I can show the whole process. So, said it's, it's constantly like smoothing, making sure that there's no like little hairs creeping off or anything. And then once it is rolled up, putting the clips in so it will stay. And because we are aiming for that page boy, excuse me, uh, the page boy under tucked style, this is going to work out really nicely for that. And the next one, I'm going to just part out a little bit. So confused by all these little brown splotches. So confused. This is going to bother me the whole time. And then when I comb it out, I'm still going to be talking about it. And we're going to use that same size, which is an orange one, but I'm going to use a half size ruler. So that, or half length, I suppose, uh, would be the appropriate way to say it. So that we can just fill in this middle. So we'll see, I hope we can kind of see what's going on here. I don't even know how I'm going to grab a clip, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Wrapped around. I probably can't see that. It's probably too far down. It's okay. We're coming up. And even with the little, little shorty roller, I tend to put my fingers inside when I'm rolling the hair. In this case, I'm just kind of finishing up so that it will sit tucked in neatly right in the middle of those two previous rollers at the nape. And even though it's a short roller, I'm still going to be putting in two clips if I can keep a hold of them. There we go. And then we just have the last roller here. Once more, this has become a very a simple way to create a style without having to put a lot of time into it. You may be able to see how you could translate this into a curling iron style set. All right, let's see. Um, just for the sake of, instead of imagining it everywhere where there's a roller, you just put in a curling iron. So for the for the top two you might use a larger barrel curling iron and then for these uh, 
bottom what is taking the place of the pin curls you just might use a slightly smaller barrel depending on what your final end result or, or what the final result is that you're hoping to get or achieve but with all of that two four six eight eleven rollers so like last time was 12 curls this one is 11 rollers so that the style will mimic what is demonstrated in the uh, in the picture. However, with this doll head being done in rollers, we're still aiming for that really nice page boy shape, just that this particular doll has much longer hair and is also has a very tiny head. She's a very tiny doll. And I and I love her. She's great. Um, but that way, it's getting the result of the page boy styling. So everything tucked under. And yeah, you know, we're going to aim to style it next week at the shoulders. So that she will have something that is very reminiscent of a true page boy. Just that she does have much longer hair. I think that covers... You know, most of it today, I just try to keep these um, easy and translatable into a uh, modern a modern setting, something that you can use uh, in everyday type styling, whether you're doing it yourself or someone else. This is a fairly simple project, once again, to create a vintage 1950s style from one of the stars of the day. And so next week we will be doing the comb out and showing how to get the look of the page boy. We may even utilize some, we might even go a little crazy, use a little back combing and showing some, some shaping so that you can get the idea of where the hair will sit once it's done. So I uh, thank you for joining me this week and we will see you next time. Bye.